Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you something a little bit different because right now I'm teaching the people of my server how to use commands that you can use to uh, yeah, make your life easier when building in creative. So I'm showing them how to use the game rules stuff, then fill command, clone command and other things and I thought that you might be interested in that too so I want to do some tutorials on some commands here just to show you how you can use them and today I want to start with the game rule command because I think that the game rule is the first command that you should use when you are creating a new world. So a game rule is basically a property of your server or your single player world that you can change um, depending on what you want to do in that world. So first thing you need to know is that you need to be operator for that on your single player word or on your server. Otherwise it would just tell you that you don't have the permission to execute that command. Then for ex actually executing the command, you can just use the chat and type in slash game rule. You don't have to type in the complete word because basically every command has a auto completion. So you can just type the beginning and press tab to give you the command. Then you could also do like uh, this just type in GAM and then if I press tab it gives me game, if I press tab again it says game mode or game rule and of course I want to do the game rule and if I then press a space and tab it will bring me all the different game rules that I can change here. So I want to go quickly to, uh, through most of them because I think that most of them are not quite interesting but some of them are really useful for you as a builder, as a creative player. So these ones I will um, go into uh, much more detail. But let's just start with the first one, one it's the command block output. It is only been, uh, needed if you're working with command blocks because if you have command blocks that are doing stuff on a clock, it will spam your chat with commands. And on this example, I want to show you what you can set the game rules to because there's either false or true. So true or false. And true is that it's activated and false is that it's disabled. So if you're working with command blocks, you most likely want to set this game rule to false so your chat doesn't get spammed. And that would just give me the feedback, the game rule has been updated. If we go to the next one, it is way, way more important because that's the do daylight cycle. I've seen so many people using uh, the time set and then day or night or zero and uh, it just changes the sun. Then they're building for 10 minutes or eight minutes. I don't know how long it actually is until it gets like started, starting to get dark. Um, the sun moves along and then they have to type in this command again. But that is not um, quite how it should be in your creative world because you can basically just stop the sun by doing slash game rule and then do daylight cycle and set it to false. And you see the sun stops and then you can set it to any point you want it. I often do 5000. That is kind of midday. Like you can see it's almost in the center. And uh, that is how I set up my words most of the time if I want to do something in creative. So then the next game rule is, um, let's see, uh, the do entity drops. The do entity drops uh, changes whether entities uh, that are not mobs should have drops. That is like item frames and stuff. You can basically ignore that one. The do fire tick is uh, whether fire should spread and naturally uh, yeah, uh, appear. So uh, that is more for survival, I guess. Then the do mob loot is kind of the same as do entity drops. Just for mobs, it's whether mobs should drop items. Then do mob spawning is of course whether mobs spawn naturally in your world. So if I change this game rule, uh, do mob spawning to false, and then change the time to something in the night, you can see that nothing spawns here. Let me quickly check what my difficulty here is. Of course it's just slash difficulty and then you can do zero, one, two, or three. Three is hard, zero is uh, peaceful. And um, then if I change this game rule now again, you will see that mobs start spawning just based on this little game rule here. So let me change this stuff back again. And um, yeah, let me also do to peaceful so we don't have the mobs around. Then the next one is game rule. Um, mob spawning do tile drops 
Uh, that is whether blocks should have drops. So if you mine a block, if it drops something, also net, not that important. Keep inventory is also a survival feature where you can say um, if somebody dies in your world, you normally lose your inventory, it lays around on the ground. You can also change it to keep inventory to true. And um, then if you die, you will keep your inventory. Log admin commands is only for like the server owner uh, because it changes if uh, the admin commands and the command block stuff um, gets locked into the server log. And if you're having a lot of stuff going on on a clock, you don't want to log admin commands, so you might want to set this to false. Then the mob griefing game rule is uh, whether creepers, zombies, endermen, ghasts and so on uh, should be able to change blocks in uh, the world, like endermen can pick up the blocks, uh, creepers will um, destroy blocks when exploding, it's also a more a survival feature. Natural regeneration, of course you know from your Reador, because there we have it turned off, it changes if you're regening your health when having full hunger. The random tick speed is then again something that is more important for uh, creative building, because uh, it's also the only game rule uh, that uh, can be changed by values. So the default is 3. And if we just set this now to 1000 and I take myself... Oh, keeping inventory. Uh, take an inventory. Great. Uh, grab myself quickly a tree. Then you can see what this game rule does. If I can find the sapling. Because now we should see that this tree should be growing quite quickly. And it's not only growing quickly, let me yeah, speed this up a little. So um, you can now see that the leaves are decaying quite quickly. And that is because uh, the random tick speed uh, really, um, yeah, like if, you, if I place a few more, ah, there you can see it. So. Uh, it changes how often a block update is happening. It's not only for trees, it's also for weed and cacti, sugarcane, all that stuff that uh, yeah grows and is based on random um, yeah block um, detecting or yeah the game basically just takes random blocks quite quickly somewhere in the world, not only on the floor of course, and uh, then checks if it can do something over there and. This game rule changes how often that happens. And if we speed it up, you can quickly, for example, make a forest and cut down trees really quick, get rid of the decaying leaves. You don't have to wait. You don't have to um, remove them manually. So uh, that is quite useful. And if you don't want anything to happen, you can just set the random tick speed to three, but the default is uh, to zero, but the default is three. So if we just take a look a bit further, um, the next thing, um, is then the reduced debug info, which is also a more a survival feature. We also used on Uriador, like now you can see I've got the normal F3 screen. And if I just um, change this game rule, uh, it's of course true, uh, then everything is reduced. I don't see the coordinates, I don't see the light level and such. Change the spec. Then the next one is send command feedback. That is if I want to have the feedback that is always given me here. So for example, game rule has been updated. I won't get the feedback if this game rule is uh, set to false. And the last game rule here is uh, show death messages. That is of course, if the death messages of players are shown um, in the chat when somebody dies. So all in all, I think for your creative world, there are just a few game rules that you should think about using, which is the do daylight cycle. It's the most important one in my opinion. And also maybe the do mob spawning you might want to use. And if you're using command blocks, um, you should uh, change the command block feedback. But the rest is just to play around basically in um, yeah survival for survival Minecraft for a server where you want also to play survival. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on the slash game rule command. If you did, then let me know because then I might want to do some more of these command tutorials and I would like to go into the slash fill command next time because I think that that's a quite powerful command if you want to try something out in creative just to make your life easier when building. But yeah, if you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know, share this video with your friends and of course subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope then to see you next time in the next video. So until then, have a great day. Goodbye.